first national park in Canada was created in 1885 in the north of the country. It was based around hot water springs hidden among amazing landscapes. That minute park of only 26 square kilometers was the embryo of one of the largest national parks in the world. Its role was to conserve the flora and fauna of the American boreal forests, and in particular the wood buffalo, a largely unknown subspecies which provided both the name and the raison d'etre for this new nature reserve. The Wood Buffalo National Park covers an area of 44,900 square kilometers, almost one and a half times the size of Belgium. It provides an unspoiled example of the landscape that predominates in Canada, the boreal forest, which goes from Alaska to Newfoundland and accounts for almost 80% of the forested area of Canada. Spruces, firs, birches and larches provide shelter for a wide variety of animals which have adapted to the hardships of this northerly climate. It is dry and cold for most of the year with winter temperatures of 40 degrees below zero. There is more variety in the conifer forests and the river plains where there are more than 250 plant species. In wood buffalo, there are 47 species of mammals, most of which are typical of the boreal forest and a much larger number of birds. This number is increased by seasonal migrations. The low annual rainfall makes the role of the waterways very important. The River Pierce and the River Athabasca provide water for the park and form an inland delta where the fauna gather. Sprinkled around the forests of wood buffalo, there are also many smaller waterways and peaceful lakes which flood each year. At the beginning of spring, the golden eyes come on heat. The male, which is more brightly and dramatically colored than the female, puts all his efforts into the strange movements inherent in the courting process so as to attract a female to mate with. But there is more than one suitor in the lake. Another male appears and the local golden eye is not prepared to allow such an intrusion onto its territory so it leaves its courting for a moment to get rid of its rival.
once the intruder has been chased away, the male starts its courting again. It has demonstrated its superiority, and the satisfied female is at last receptive to his advances.